वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एम देवी का बापट योर होस्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक अ क्लासिक विस्की सावर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो टू वर्जन ऑफ इट वन विथ एन एंटायर एग वाइट इन द कॉकटेल एंड वन विदाउट द एग वाइट बिकॉज वट हैपन वॉज दैट लास्ट टाइम वेन आई मेड द न्यू यॉर्क सावर सो द वैम्पायर डायरी इज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड वन so when i made that i had put an entire egg white and so many people came and asked to me like an entire egg white in a cocktail it's it's a raw egg in a cocktail uh not so i don't know attractive maybe so and and so many people are uh, pure vegetarians and they don't go like they don't eat eggs or any non veg anything so this one's going to be especially for them so i'm going to make both the versions of it one with the egg white and one without the egg white so for the egg white one of course we are going to use the egg but in the other one the other version i'm going to use aquafaba aquafaba whatever i don't know how it's pronounced <laughs> i mean i'm not so sure so this is it um how you get this how you acquire this is quite simple you just um like if you get any ready made uh, chickpeas or like the chickpeas the canned chickpeas which you get in the supermarket it usually comes with some water in it like the chickpeas sits in the water and we usually throw away the water away but that is aquafaba like literally and i'm going to use that although this one i actually made it kind like kind of made it so i had soaked the chickpeas um last night so i soaked it overnight and then threw away the water then put some fresh water boiled the chickpeas in that water and then the water in which i boiled the chickpeas that is this water okay so if you store it in your freezer it can stay up to a week or so you can of course go and check it online again so that's how we are going to make it and apart from aquafaba like of course we have the usual ingredients the lemon juice simple syrup although this simple syrup is quite um see i'll show you it's it's quite solidified see because i kept it boiling for a lot much time than required so i'm going to put a bit lesser quantity of this today and we have our bourbon whiskey jim beam yeah so without much ado let's begin our cocktails so i'm going to make one with the egg in it that i'll make later and one i'm going to make without the egg in it so let me just rearrange stuff so first without the egg okay um we're going to use the aquafaba now it's summer time so i haven't to uh, taken out the ice so i'll quickly go and get some ice in my shaker and i'll also put some ice i'll fill this entire glass with some ice okay so let me go and quickly get it so i'm back with ice in my shaker ice completely filled in this glass and quickly before it melts i'm going to finish making this one cocktail so um okay let's begin with the alcohol first Thirty ml of our bourbon, about fifteen ml of simple syrup. If you have the regular one, this is very sugar. Oh, uh, this is very solidified actually. So I'm just going to put some fifteen ml of it because it's going to be too sweet otherwise. So our simple syrup. about 30 ml of lemon juice and i'm going to put some 60 ml of aquafaba that's equivalent to about one egg white so then we shake it make sure you shake it for a 
uh, longer time because there's aquafaba in it and it's not egg white so you know go ahead and shake it for about 20 seconds so that it gets that foamy texture and after that we are going to strain it in our glass so i'm going to give it a quick strain again hard strain it otherwise you won't get the foamy feel to it okay so that's our one cocktail you're gonna garnish it with some cherries you can also garnish it with uh, an orange twist but right now I don't have oranges at home so I'm going to do the cherry garnish and it's that easy so our non-egg version of whiskey sour is already ready I'm going to quickly go and wash my shaker so that we can begin with the egg white version of it and then I'm going to tell you uh, the difference between both the two if there is any I don't think there's going to be any let me just uh, smell this and tell you yeah it doesn't smell anything weird so I'll quickly wash my shaker and come back and I'm back with a washed shaker some shaking new fresh shaking ice in this some ice in the glass and our egg white I'll quickly get one cloth oh okay wait I have it right here so I need this okay so you take the egg white and make sure you don't make a mess so okay make sure you take only the white part and you don't take the yellow thing okay so this is the yellow part I'm gonna put it in this now give it one shake one quick shake so that the egg adapts to that cool factor and it starts becoming foamy already so quick 10 second shake for this and now quickly our ingredients 30 ml of bourbon This is our aquafaba we don't need that now uh, 30 ml of our sour lemon juice and again some 15 ml of sugar syrup I'm going to add less of it because today my simple syrup isn't the proper you know liquidified version of it so our simple syrup is inside our shaker and we're going to give it one more shake and then we strain it in the glass okay okay I made a little less of it and our cherry garnish now I'm going to tell you the difference between both of them so the lesser uh, cocktail is our egg white while this one is our aquafaba okay so a quick sniff test I'm going to tell you how it smells first usual cocktail stuff like it doesn't taste any or uh, smell anything different really it's the same so if you people think that putting an raw putting a raw egg in the cocktail is going to you know give a bad smell that's not the case if you're going to finish it off like within 15 20 minutes it won't smell bad and now I'm going to uh, sip it both of these and tell you the taste difference first I'll take the aquafaba sip it's nice chilled out and very fresh now the egg white
Mm, I like this one better, the one with the egg white, because it has this very, mm, it has one kind of texture which I can't really describe to you. And this one is like a regular cocktail. So I would go for the egg white version of the whiskey sour, but if you want to avoid the eggs, you can always use the aquafaba and you needn't even put too much time in, you know, making the aquafaba because you can literally get the chickpeas uh, can or tin from outside and use the same water. So this was my video for whiskey sour and until next time, keep watching my videos, share, make so many new new cocktails and yeah don't forget to subscribe bye bye